Hey. Hey, have you seen my navy cuff? Actually, that looks like my shirt. Where'd you get that from? I've been at the shirt. That's my shirt. Can you take it off? This is mine. No, that's that's definitely mine. I joined the Navy last week. That's you what? Mine. When? How do you not know I joined the Navy? You live with me. Uh, you live in my head, actually. How? Weren't you there with me? Probably not. Um, child, anyway, t take off the shirt. I'm trying to do a video right now. Okay, fine. Thank you. What's up guys, Shun here and I am back with another video. And as you guys can tell by the thumbnail, by the title, and probably by the intro of this video, I have some exciting news. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Oh, so, drum roll please. I am joining the Navy. So, um, it's crazy, right? I'm doing the Navy. And it's been a exciting process so far, kind of. Other than that, so I didn't really like that. But, yeah, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about joining, what I did exactly, where I'm at right now, and when do I leave for basic training and stuff. I went on Friday to Max. And on Wednesday, I took the ASVAB. Whenever you do the ASVAB, there's actually two tests you can do. You can do the PICAT or you can do the ASVAB. I did the two hour ASVAB because I did not take the PICAT. I recommend the PICAT because you take it at home. And I think it's, I don't know how long it is. I think you can take however long you want on it, I think. Then you go to take the confirmation test and if you score within a certain range you get the score you originally got or if you scored higher you get that score so that's how that works but I didn't do that of course so I took the ASVAB and I got my score immediately after that because it was on my computer and it was super long um I did a lot of waiting to, for people to finish so there's that whenever you join the military I guess you should say I should say be prepared to be prepared to wait because it is a lot of waiting. Now that COVID to thing, I actually did have to go to the hotel first to get like my temperature taken and I had to like sign like a paper or whatever saying that hey, I social distance and stuff. And then whenever I went to take the ASVAB, I had to give them that paper. So that's something that if you don't have that paper. They won't let you in, so you gotta keep up with it. You're not good at keeping up with papers. Practice. So let's talk about Max in the hotel now. Basically, my recruiter took me and he dropped me off. No, 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 no. My recruiter didn't take me. Another recruiter took me, and she went inside with me to like take me to get my temperature taken. And basically, I had to wait again and I had to wait for the briefing and they told us all the rules and the rules are basically simple. You gotta be in your room by 10 o'clock. Can't leave after 10 o'clock. Can't have anybody in your room. Can't go in the other, anybody else's room. And that was basically it. Wake up at 3.45. If you're not awake by 3.45 and you miss the bus, you can't go to maps. You're gonna be pretty upset also if you have to get waking up because there is a wake up call. So they call your phone and they're like, this is the wake up call, this is the wake up call, you know? So be on your ending that day because I know a lot of people aren't up at 345 randomly, but yeah. So those are the rules. Also, we had to choose our dinner. Um, a lot of people were like, there's good food there, there was a buffet, you know, there was games and everything. And I saw that, but, COVID cancel all that. So literally I went into the room. They had like a game room. They had like hockey table. No, they had the pool table, Xbox, PlayStation, food and drinks and snacks. And you couldn't get any of it. Not snacks. I think it was just like a refrigerator full of drinks, not snacks though. Um you couldn't use any of it because of COVID. Uh that was kind of 
convert it into like a skin thing. Um, and then we have also had to sign another paper. I don't remember what it was, but we had to sign another paper. And then that's why we got the briefing. So basically the whole day I just sat in a hotel because I didn't have to take my ass out that day. So I just sat there and watched cartoons and FaceTime all day. I went on live a couple times and it was pretty boring because the place I was at, I was right next to the airport. So there wasn't really anything to do I can go out. So I just stayed in the hotel. Also another thing before your naps is don't drink like a lot of caffeine or anything because that can mess up like your blood sugar level or it can mess up something. My recruiter told me that and that was a good thing. Don't eat a lot too because that can mess up your weight. And yeah, so all these things can get you disqualified and you do not want to go back to naps because that's a lot of waiting. Literally, you spend a whole day at naps. And also, I don't know about you guys' recruiter, but my recruiter called me. It was, he was the chief. He was the chief, and I don't know his name exactly, but he called me, and he was like, hello, is this future Cello Wong? No, he didn't say future Cello. He said, is this Charles Wong? My name is blah, 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 and I'm gonna be in charge of you for the next 24 hours. Is that okay? You know, stuff like that. And he used to give me, like, he answered like, the questions I had, so ask me anything you want. And yeah, that was good, that's my night. Another tip, guys. This is a really, really big tip. Be squeaky clean. Now, when they when I tell you they check everything, they check everything. They check your feet, they check your ears, they check your booty hole, literally. They just do. And you gotta stand like this, like your arms. There's like a wall right here, but you know, your arms are down, you gotta lift your legs, you gotta bend over, you gotta. You know, you, you don't want to be embarrassed. You don't want to be embarrassed. And I'm telling you this, get squeaky clean. You're in a hotel. You can take as long as a shower you want. Get squeaky clean, like literally. So that's a big tip. So now we're going to talk about naps. So I woke up at 3.45 and I was rushing because I was like vlogging. I say get to that line early because if it's anything like my hotel, you have to wait in the line to get your temperature taken again. Get there early so you can eat breakfast and actually have time to enjoy the food. Because if you don't, you're gonna be rushing like I did. I had to rush from the temperature station thing all the way back up to the stairs, finish packing myself, come back downstairs, eat my food, and throw myself away. I didn't have time to drink my water or anything like that. Also, another tip, guys. Drink lots of water because there were some people that were at naps. They could not pee for nothing. And you have to pee in a cup before 11.45 at our naps. Because the next section, urine test place closed. So, drink lots of fluid, guys, because you don't have to pee in a cup. And the doctors are going to have to watch you, by the way. So, that's a good Thing to know, but let's talk about whenever I got to Max. So it was 3:45, and it was a bus ride, and it was 15 minutes away. And basically, I went in and had to go through the metal, de metal detectors. They're gonna have you take out your ID a lot, so make sure you have that out. Then they're gonna make you put your phone away in this like little, like you go to your specific like branch station so like navy marines army and you put your stuff there i went to navy's and put my stuff up and i put my phone in there my apple watch you couldn't have this up and if you do and you get caught you get sent home and you can't go back to maps for another six months so phones are not a lot of people say it's cold in there it was not cold in maps i wore a hoodie I took my hoodie off and I never had to take my clothes off. Not cold at all. I don't know. Maybe these people have some sympathy for us. Symphony. Sympathy for us. But, yeah. So, that's 
So basically how it first went is we had to go through this like orientation thing. They call it a briefing, but I call it orientation. And they tell you the rules. The rules are simple. Be nice, follow directions, you know, things like that. It's like school rules. Um, no phones, no internet. And they tell you alcohol, no drugs, no none of that. You know, if you're joining the military, don't do that stuff anyway. So I recommend you don't do drugs. If you're going, planning on joining the military, just get it out for like a month or so. I don't know. Anyways, um, you got to do a breathalyzer. Um, so there's that. You have to do uh, a hearing and vision test. And basically, uh, if you if they check your hearing and your ears are dirty, they will have you do a ear cleaner. I had to do that. Did not like it. it. Was one of the worst things. They had you sit there with a cup in your hand, squirt a little gun in your ear, and it made me dizzy. Feel like it made me feel like I was going to fall off the chair. Made me nauseous. Felt like I was on the roller coaster or something. I'm like, what is happening here? I had to pee in a cup, like I said, and basically I had to pee. So I don't know how it is with the girls, but guys, there was you know your urinals, a lot of urinals, and I had to pee in a cup. No guys are looking at you. You can easily do your business or whatever. And pee in a cup, twist it up, the doctor pours into the other thing, and then get to wash your hands. Then you get your blood drawn. And basically the blood drawn to like, for like uh, drugs or STDs or stuff like that, you know. And blood sugar, get your blood pressure taken also. So that's something else. And then, like, he was just stripping down and stuff. He said, strip. And he was like, he, he had a stand. Okay, so let me get out the chair. And stand like this. And like, we were, we were in our underwear. And we had to like, bend over. We had to like, do this. And then we had to do this. And then we had to do this. Then we had to do some weird things with our toes. <laughs> we had to do a lot of weird things like bend over, show our feet and everything and I'm like okay a little sus to me but okay and then after that this was the worst part he was like okay guys we're going to go in these little cubbies and we're going to check for hernias and you know, other things and literally my doctor was like he was kind of mean, I'm not even going to lie he was kind of mean he said, okay, drop your pants and bend over, spread them cheeks. That's what he said, y'all. So I had to bend over, spread the cheeks. He's like, okay. He's like, turn this way, cough. <laughs> hey, you're good to go. And yeah, but he was being serious. Let me tell you, I asked him what time he was, and he was like, it's rude to ask the time. I'm like, okay. Well, how was it rude? I just asked what time it was. <laughs> and you had a watch on, y'all. He was so petty because he put on his phone and a watch. I just want to know. But this was, he was being difficult for no reason. Because I asked the other doctor and he simply just put his phone. Oh, it's 942. Oh, why you can't say, tell me that. So, yeah. Um, old people like that. Anyways, so after literally like all that, this is like the longest way to do Waiting to actually get the freaking job. So they sit with you one on one, and that's why I guess it takes so long because there's only so many people. But I sit there and wait, 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 wait. wait. And after I waited for like, I feel like an hour, they finally called me. Job do you want? And I told them the job, and they search it up on the computer, and they're like, okay, we don't have it. Choose another one. I'm just saying, I got the job I wanted, and I got to choose a date, which was the earliest date, and my date is August 10th. Um, that can change if they have an earlier date and I wanted to go 
but right now it's August 10th. But basically after that, you have to go to another person and sign all these papers. And it's like your contract, like I'm doing like six years and I have, to, I'm a reservist. I'm a reservist, so I have to go to every other weekend or something like that to like this one building and yeah. I don't know all the details. I have it in the folder. It's getting rid of like over the folder yet. But yeah, that's essentially all. And then I have to do more waiting for like 45 minutes because it was where me in. And then I had to sit there. If you guys have any other question, let me know. Um, I guess I should tell you guys what I got also. So I got the shirt, of course. And this shirt, it says um, Department of the Navy, United States of America. And then I also, it says that, I don't really know what it says, but I'm like, And then I got this hat. I also got a bottle, which is upstairs, and I also got a sticker, which is also upstairs. That's a sticker. And in this bag, it's really just your information. Like, like, literally, like, um, so you also have to take this picture. And, oh, it tells you, like, where you're from and stuff. And yeah, so this is like a guide and it tells you, oh, I guess I should read this book, guys, because yeah, I should read this book. I'm going to read it eventually. But yeah, so it tells you like this, it gives you like this paper on like physical training and yeah it just it's literally just the paper I signed literally that's all oh, yeah that's literally it um also I don't know about everybody but I was inducted not inducted but I am in the depths program which is the delayed entry program and basically, they are going to be preparing me to eliminate me. Like, there's going to be like workout things and such. And I have to join, I, I have to do them. Um, I signed the papers and I'm going to attend all of them. And basically, he gave me advice and he said, I start off as E1, E1, and you can join. You can like not join, but you can advance. So there's a couple ways, do the physical, get your uh, college credits, I think you have to have at least 29, or uh, refer people to the program. Anyways, yeah guys, so that is basically it for the Navy. Like I said earlier, if you guys have any questions, let me know, comment down below. I will be updating you guys on my other social medias. TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. And yeah. Peace.